In Paris, there's a school unlike any other, where children grow up to music. For over 75 years, the Maîtrise de Radio France has been training school children to become classical singers. The choir mistress takes Andrelia and her schoolmates through their last vocalizations before the grand concert. I think if you all have the right look in your eyes, if you're convinced you're good and you want to convince the audience, I think it'll go really well with the conductor. Pages 68 to 69, when you sing it's exactly like in sport. You need to train and you need to warm up. So I've just been warming up their voices and making sure the younger girls remember all the important points they mustn't forget during the concert. In just a few hours, the student's dream will come true to perform with the Radio France Philharmonic Orchestra. On the program, Berlioz, a very demanding repertoire. More than scared, we're excited because there'll be lots of people. The cameras, the conductor, the orchestra. So we're all excited and the adrenaline is running high. The Maîtrise de Radio France is headquartered in Paris but now has a branch in Bondy, in the capital's northeastern suburbs, the École Olympe de Gouges. It's here that Andrelia practiced her first arpeggios. It's now the turn of nine-year-old Christy. She's in year five and is taught by Morgan Jordan, the choir master at the Bondy branch. Okay, first with little movement. Now imagine the movement. Now with the movement, what we develop most at the Maîtrise de Radio France, more than in other schools, is learning as a group. It's a choir, each kid must learn to be a member of a group. So right across their learning, whether it's in music, singing or piano, they learn along with the others. So it's like a school of life. After the singing class, there's no let off for the young pupils. That's great. With the inescapable sight reading lesson. Two mistakes. Christy passed her audition in year two, when teachers from the Maîtrise visited her school to unearth kids with musical talent. Since then, her school days have been split into traditional lessons in the mornings and music in the afternoons. You can hear the major key because it's joyful. If it was in a minor key, it would sound like this. It's a packed timetable for the youngster, but she thinks it's worth it. We give big concerts in Paris. We meet singers who've performed in famous operas. We also visit places people can't normally visit. Plus, we sing when we visit. It's great, because we always have lots of people listening to us. When there's a big audience, do you get butterflies? No. I know they've come to listen to us, so we just have to sing well, so they're not disappointed. Always work hard to make your dream come true. Back home, Christy goes straight to the piano to do her homework. She shows dedication and determination that make her parents proud. Our singing teacher, Isabel, gave us the music for a song, but we have to write the notes. C, B, A. She works by herself, she's motivated, and we don't need to force her. Because they have a schedule and a work quota, and the kids think, OK, we need to work, but we'll do it gradually. When we have to learn poems by heart at school, we remember them better because we have to learn the words to a lot of songs. We learn poems much quicker than before. In a few years' time, Christy will also get the chance to perform in a large concert hall, just like her elders. At the Maison de la Radio, the concert will soon begin, and the tickets are sold out. For Andrelia and the Maîtrise de Radio France Choir, it's time to go down to the wings for what will be a long wait. But nothing seems to phase the teenager. How are you feeling? You must be nervous. No, not at all. Not at all. Not really. 
Andrelia and the girls' choir walk onto the stage to applause from a packed hall. And soon their voices ring out, perfectly in tune. Singing makes me really happy. I get an adrenaline hit when I do a concert with my classmates, in front of an audience with family and friends who've never seen me sing. It's a way of proving to them what I can do, so I'm proud to be part of the Maîtrise. Every year, the Maîtrise de Radio France gives 160 boys and girls, aged between 7 and 18, the chance to grow up in music and strike the right balance between fun and the demands of classical singing. <laughs> 